Got a property tour today of a really nice little property here in uh, Payson, Utah. It's on a corner lot and you can park down below there and there's a back door there and then this is the uh, front door of course. There's some additional parking for boats or RVs right down here. It's not paved or anything but makes a great area for uh, for parking uh, like say recreational vehicles. It's got a terraced backyard. Uh, step down to a uh, really uh, comfortable and kind of fun uh, covered patio area here. So that's kind of a neat amenity here to this yard. Then uh, again there's a retaining wall here it comes down to a uh, garden area, vegetable garden area. Could be used for uh, chickens or pets as well. Uh, there is a fenced off portion of the yard as well. And this is really fun here. The There's a uh, outside workshop area. So it's not completely enclosed, but it's got a good roof on it. It's not going to leak or anything. And then uh, there's the workbench, some fun storage up here. Just a really great place to, uh, uh, you know, store lawn equipment, bikes, or actually set up a bit of a workshop out here. It's, uh, like I say, there's electricity that's all run along there with uh, some fluorescent lighting. So very nice. Okay, as we come into this uh, home, uh, you come into a... Uh, what well, could be a, a living room, it could be a dining area. <clears throat> Previous uh, uh, occupants and the current owner, they've used this as a, as a place to put a nice dining table. Some nice natural light that comes in. And then back over here to the right of the foyer is kind of a little living room TV area there. Uh, looking back to the front door, some shelves right there as you come in. The uh, kitchen then is right in here and it's a large space. You got some good countertop cabinet space there and then uh, the laundry hookups uh, and these washer and dryers will actually stay. They're right here in the corner, so a good location for them. The refrigerator and a gas stove. Let's go back over this way. This leads to a uh, the uh, bathroom here. You got a tile surround there uh, on the bathtub and then you got a toilet and vanity right there. Coming down this hallway we enter into the one of the bedrooms. There are four bedrooms in this home and uh, so here's the bedroom on this level. We'll come up these stairs. It's a multi-level home and there's a big bedroom in this area. The closet's there on the end. Like I say, pretty decent space up here on this level. This is the back door coming in from the coming in from the uh, driveway here that's on the side and it kind of comes into a, a room that could be used as an office or a mud room area right there here's another bedroom right here on this level and then we come down to the lowest level in the home and some great storage 
right in this area. You got some storage shelves. Um, got access to all of your plumbing and electrical. Water heater's in great shape. Now there's also back in here some additional storage, but this is where the furnace is. And that furnace was put in about, oh, maybe three or four years ago with the uh, air conditioner outside. So mechanically, this home is in, is in good order and, and things are very nice. Now, there's actually one more bedroom down in this level. Nice bedroom here. So, you know, this home is an older home, but it's had some uh, uh, some nice updates in the mechanicals, the exterior vinyl siding. It uh, offers a lot of space, a lot of bedrooms, and uh, quite frankly, ha has a lot of potential. There's some updates that could be made, uh, perhaps in the flooring and some paint, but uh, this is a great opportunity for somebody to uh, build some equity in the in their home and and uh, really make this place a uh, very, very comfortable home. Now, it's located uh, close to the uh, I-15 exit. Uh, actually, um, you're probably about a mile from I-15, uh, the Walmart, the Payson uh, LDS Temple is just down the road. Very convenient location. There's restaurants and grocery stores in the area. So if you're interested and want to take a look at it, please give me a call. Otherwise, contact your real estate agent, have them call me. We'll set up a showing for you. Thanks.